Your light irritates people's darkness so much that they can't stand around you. And I'm gonna tell you why, okay? All my chosen ones, like, comment, subscribe. If you clicked on this right video, click on the right video at the right time, okay? All my chosen anointing the points. If you have that oil over your life, put God got me, I have the oil. If you got the oil on your life, okay? And that's one of the reasons why they can't still sit right next to you. They can't be beside you, okay? They can't ride with you. They ain't gonna slide with you. They ain't gonna be with you when they come get you. Let me tell you guys why all my chosen ones that understand this and smash the thumbs up and it resonates with you, which I know if you're a chosen one, is going to resonate with you. If you're not a chosen one, then it's probably the person that Decepticons are talking, speaking against. All my chosen ones that's anointed and appointed, smash the thumbs up, we're going right in. Reason why they can't stand next to you, they don't want to be next to you because your light shines through the darkest times. Your light irritates their demons okay the same place that they still stuck in you came out of a lot of people stuck in that mind control chosen ones a lot of people are still stuck in the matrix come on now if you still stuck in that matrix get out all my chosen ones that have someone that's stuck in the matrix tell them to get out god got you all my most valuable prophets, MVPs, all my most valuable prophets, God's most valuable prophets. The reason why your oil is on your life is because everything that you asked for was all in the glory of God. Everything that you do is in the mercy of the most high. So whatever your dwelling place is, wherever religion you got, wherever movement you got, okay, whatever tone you're trying to set, whatever type of frequency you're trying to set for this world, Understand that when you cast light upon dark places, okay, the shadows soon scurry, okay? They ain't gonna be with you when they come get you, okay? They ain't gonna be sliding with you, they ain't gonna be riding with you, okay? The only thing they gonna be doing is hiding from you because the only thing is the devil is author of confusion. We all know that people are getting comfortable being with the devil. So when your when your when your spirit irritates people's demonic devil agendas, you gonna see that people can't be around you. People can't people mess around, they didn't even like you for you. Tell me about mine, smash the thumbs up right now. If you understand exactly what I'm talking about, this resonates with your spirit, this resonates with your soul, this resonates with your life. Because this, this is a reoccurring thing. People are leaving your life. You get close to somebody. You thinking they somebody that they they not, but then you know you start to use your discernment, you start you start discerning it. See all the chosen ones that's that's really awoke to the madness, woke to the confusion, understand exactly what's going on. Okay, because if God didn't supply it, if God didn't supply it, it's not for you. Okay, on my anointed. And a point that has that oil on their life. The reason why you were attacked, the reason why you're going through so many demonic attacks is because you chosen. God's given the strongest, the strongest battles to the strongest warriors because you can withstand it. You can withstand the spiritual darkness. You just you know what I'm saying? There's me they be trying to cast darkness all on your light. But take heed, ye not, take heed to the signs. Take heed to what the devil is trying to do. Take heed to what God's trying to do. Take heed to who's blessing you. Because the devil can bless you too. The devil's in the blessing business too. But the devil is also in the deceptive business. So if you understand that, God, God is not going to deceive you. God's not going to allure you with the lifestyle that was perpetuated on false realities of evil, of hate, of malice, murder confusion okay vexation vanity okay we're not telling you guys to walk around here like you know you a perfect angel you know the anointed song uh pointers has made you to where you're sinless no you're sinful but you're blessed and you're humble Okay, many are called, few are chosen. And when you had that call in your life, you answered the call. A lot of people don't want to answer that call. So, of course, your light is going to irritate their demons. Of course.
course you're gonna put make them feel uncomfortable. Of course you're not going. Of course you're gonna make you know make the devil feel irritated because the devil likes it when things are going his way. The devil likes it when people are susceptible to nonsense, to all type of nonsense, all type of coonery, buffoonery, all type of witchcraft, voodoo, all that stuff. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys how to prepare yourselves, okay? You guys stay prayed up, okay? Put on all honors of God on. Stay prayed up, okay? Keep repenting. Keep seeking the Lord. Keep seeking ye's face. Keep seeking ye's kingdom. Keep seeking ye's kingdom. And everything else shall be added. Seek his righteousness, okay? Let's move on with it. People are hating on your righteousness, okay? People don't like your righteousness because it irritates where are they fraudulent at? Irritates where they're insufficient at, where they need to work on. Well, guess what? You came to make the world a better place. Okay, we not on this platform to always talk about what to look out for in the bad way. We doing this to we doing this to help clarify, clear the path for any chosen one that's in mis in, in caught in confusion, misled. Misled by the devil, misled by Okay, the mis mischievous people that just want things out of the chosen ones, whether it be they want your gifts, they want your anointings, they want the oil over your life, they want your blessings, they want what you worked for. So people can't stand next to you, people can't stand near you. Okay, that that sense that you on to they tricks. Okay. Because people will play you up. People will play like the homie, don't you know me? People will play like sister girl from around the world. Okay, you never needed them. Okay, you never needed them in, in, in your journey. You never needed them when it came to your faith. You never needed it when it when it came to growing as a person, becoming a best you, getting closer to God. You didn't need them to do that. All you needed to do was be steadfast and unmovable. And when you were steadfast and unmovable, God moved on your behalf and God kept his hands on your life. And when you know God has a hand on your life, you understand that God will shine his light, okay? God will clear, God will clear all them clouds up. God will clear up all them rainy days. Okay, God will clear up all that pain. Okay, physical, mental, spiritual, whatever God you believe in, whatever the most high you believe in. Okay, for you chosen. Okay, so this path wasn't, this path was set forth to you before you, before you were even born. So understand that when your light irritates their demons is because they need to be working on themselves. Okay, where you shine the bright is, is where they keep their most darkest secrets sometimes. Okay, to be honest with you, people don't like being vulnerable. God's children, we vulnerable because you want to know why? Because we, we accept the world with open arms. We are at the mercy of the Lord. Okay, we are at the mercy of the Lord. We are, we are just a vessel. When you're understanding, you're just a vessel. I understand that. And God is working through you. God is working for you, through you. You understand that God's light is shining through you, even though you know God's soldiers have some dark times too. Don't get it misconstrued. God, God understands that your dark, your dark times made you stronger. Your dark times made your light brighter. And people decide to stay in the darkness is on them, but you didn't stay in the darkness. You ain't gonna stay in the darkness, okay? You see what I'm saying? The sun gonna come out, okay? There's going to be breakages, okay? There's going to be times of, of, of not understanding, but there's going to be time for, there's going to be time of limbo where, where God just wants you to just be patient. See why everybody else is anxious. You patient, you were steadfast. You put on all armors of God on. That's a thing too, okay? Keeping the faith and being steadfast, it irritates a lot of people's demons. Your patience with God irritates a lot of people's demons because you are a patient with God. You, you are patient with the mission, okay? So if you are patient with the mission and you were clear on his vision and you understand exactly where you need to go. And God is a marksman when it comes to precision and what happens when he wants the things to come in your life at the right time. Okay. So he's not going to be bringing these false idols into your life. He's not going to be bringing these false deities, false entities in your life. That's just the devil. And I'm just giving you guys warning signs. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm trying to give you guys full aware so you guys can be equipped. See, a lot of people want to be like, oh, you're you're promoting fear. Why are you promoting fear? You know, people are promoting this, perpetuating this fear. No, 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 we're not perpetuating anything. 
you know, we're putting, we're giving you guys all the tools and all the armors that you need to understand. You know, we're coding you with the best armor, the most Holy Spirit armor, okay? Because your spirit is what they after. They're not after the money, okay? That's another thing too. The reason why your, your, your light irritates your demons and the sun is coming out. The reason why the sun is coming out is because that's the truth. The truth shall set you free. And what's in dark will come to light, okay? So as you understand that when I'm telling you guys the truth and I'm speaking the truth, okay? God's gonna highlight the truth and God is gonna highlight the truth. Reason why your, your your light irritates people demons because the light, you the truth, and the light is highlighting the darkness. It's the lies and deceit and the confusion and the stuff that have people veil that have people over people's eyes. The lies, the deceit. Realize that these people wasn't for you if they, you know, they ain't for you in a hard time. And there might be people that's gonna be in there working as a helpful angel. Understanding that, thinking that, oh. They helping you in a bad time. Really, they just counting for you to go ahead and need them again. You know what I'm saying? Whenever they, whenever they need, whenever they needed something, you was there. You know what I'm saying? They just trying to take, or whether they trying to take your blessings, or they trying to take your anointings, they trying to use that oil for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay because you're generous with your oil. But guess what? Your cup runneth over when you bless others. That's another thing, too. You're not trying to put that material. You're not of this world. You live in this world, but you're not of this world. Okay? So when, when you become, when you get out of this world and people realize that you're not of this world like everyone else, okay? People don't like that. People won't even have you around. You notice that? You ever notice when, when, when you start thinking differently, everybody has the same frequency they can, they can, they can be on. Everybody has the same frequency playing field. Okay, but then when they want to, when they want to um, vibrate on a low frequency, you know, when they want to low vibrate on a low frequency, or they want to accept low vibrations as acceptable as high vibrations, you just already know. People are just caught in confusion. Okay. Did you know if you mix frequencies together, it can enhance the frequency. If you mix a, f a 528 frequency with a 444 frequency, you know you're going when you combine the frequencies together. So it's all about vibrations and frequencies. So when people aren't vibrating on your frequency, you understand that why aren't why aren't you getting along with these people? Why are these people always trying to start conflict? Why are these always people accusing me of things? Why are these people? You know, Jesus was persecuted. Jesus, Jesus, you know. Jesus. Jesus came in the game flipping tables and everything. Jesus came in there throwing, throwing, you know, telling people what they shouldn't be, shouldn't be doing. And also he was leading by example. And when you lead by example, people don't like that. So when you're an example of greatness, when you're an example of discipline, when you're an example of doing the right things, when you're an example of, hey, I got this going on. And when you're purpose, when, when you're purpose driven, when you stand on something, when you, when you, when you, when you stand for something you don't fall for anything okay when you when you're when your flesh is not weak when you don't have the when you're not weak of the flesh people can't stand around you when you're not weak of the flesh people can't stand around you when you're not all out here trying to party mix and mingle with these whoremongers okay with these decepticons these rats moles these people that are quick to tell on each other the quick the people to tell each, each other's business you're not up in everybody's business. You in you in your you in your corner of the world, okay? You in your spiritual corner, okay? You need to get to your sanctuary, okay? Because the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, all right? And the devil's author of confusion, so he wants you to think you feel like you're out of place because you're not getting the same blessings as everybody else is getting when they're really getting blessed by the devil himself, all right? When you understand, you need to open your eyes and see where God's got graces for you and the grateful blessings that he has over your life. You're going to start understanding that, wow, God has the biggest light. He has a spotlight on you. He got one of them Batman lights on you. And you don't even see it. He got he got a police he got a police chopper light on you. You know what I'm saying? He got one of them Grand Theft Auto, big old, big old six-star, you know, helicopters. You ain't never getting away from God. You ain't never getting away from God's glory. You ain't never getting away from God's wrath. All right, if you stay on the straight and right narrow path, understand that God's gonna keep shining that light on you. All right, He's gonna keep irritating the demons. He's gonna tell them keep irritating the demons because you wanna know why? The people lack, people will die 
your people will perish the lack there of knowledge and not their knowledge of self is way really more important too because when you if you want to know thy father you know thyself if you want to know thyself you know thy father so when you know thy father you know when you're walking in your calling you know you walking with the most high you know you protect it a lot of people know that you protect it too a lot of people know that you know god has put you up on a pedestal you put god on a pedestal and god has made your enemies your footstool okay that really what makes people mad too they thought you was gonna quit oh yeah they thought you was gonna quit they thought you was gonna give up once it got hard <laughs> what you didn't know that you had the strength of david you didn't know you had the strength of joseph all right you know what i'm saying all these stories are these strong words that got you know the strength of moses okay the leadership of moses they, they mad because you got the leadership of moses you wasn't the perfect you wasn't the perfect uh candidate your 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 upbringing wasn't 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 pristine but you were called and you answered the call see see moses moses okay same with elijah he uses the least likely candidates and he makes miracles. He makes great messages out of them. You want to know why? It's because a lot of people, a lot of people went against those people. A lot of people went against those people that God bestowed. There's a lot of, a lot of people that went against with the people that were God bestowed. And guess what? Guess what happened to them? They perished for lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't even matter. People are mad because even if they have money, knowledge is more powerful than money. That's why I say knowledge is power. Because like God said, his people will perish because of lack of knowledge. The knowledge of themselves and the knowledge of him, of their father. Because if you know yourself, you know your father. If you know your father, you know yourself. So understand that when you equip yourself with more knowledge, not more money, more knowledge. Because people will perish for the lack of knowledge. Not, the, not because of money. So understand that when people are coming against you, it's because they not they need not know what they do. Okay? Touch ye not do my prophet no harm. Okay? Do my prophet no harm. He shall do a new thing with you. And that's the thing too. God is always doing a new thing with you when these haters don't like the elevation. But guess what? The elevation is is propelling you and propelling other people that see it and be inspired, that are moving with the Holy Spirit doing just like you they want to do things just like you they want to do things in the name of glory of god just like you god's going to see to it that you're going to keep inspiring people god's going to see to it that you're going to keep moving mountains on his behalf so you keep moving on his behalf these haters can't haters can't knock it these haters can't stop it they can just sit back and watch or they can support but most people want support because you know they're so covered in darkness and they're willing to accept the Lord of Darkness. So, you know, when you stay in that realm, it's your boy, Trap Trap, Trapanese, Spirit Trap. You know what I'm saying? You want to be anointed and appointed in the right direction, you know, so you can get the right blessings in the collection. All right, let me tell you guys something. All right? So, I think when it comes down to it, the people that, that don't like you or they, they have to you know remove themselves away from you it's okay you did you you've done you done you done us nothing but great you've done nothing but great keep tell them tell them to stay over there tell them to stay separate tell them i'll be over here pursuing greatness i'll be over here matter of fact if you guys got this far 19 minutes i need you guys put god got me understand yeah put champion you are a champion you are a champion pass it on there you go you know what i'm saying good vibrations good energy you know what i'm saying you gotta let people know who you stand for and what you stand for and who you stand with you say i stand with lord jesus christ god's my savior you know lord jesus christ his son has died jesus died for our sins you know what i'm saying i'm a child of god no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of jesus see you wonder why people can't come close to you it's because god has protected god doesn't want you around those people god doesn't want you around those um non-believers god doesn't want you around those people that are just with you just because you know you got this or got that you know, you don't want to be around some people that are feeding you, feeding you, your energy, your body, your your soul, your mind, okay, your spirit, because that Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Spirit. So it's your boy Trap. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to it. All right, so let's get back to the wave. Let's get back to the new wave. Let's get back to the new thing. Let's get back to to think to knowing that just because these people are leaving us, just because these things are happening to us, just because people can't be around us, just because you know, people say these things about us, that don't mean that you're a bad person. That actually lets people know what you stand for and you stand for the most high. All right, so you know, when guys are moving those people out of your life, and guys, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not happening. For, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. All right, it's your boy Trap Trap. Hope you guys have a blessed one. Remember, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and greatness is, is in your plans. Greatness is in your agenda. With God on your side. Peace.